good fly spot here. Absolutely no wind here. Oh, the sun will come out. It's been raining for four days straight. On the path of least resistance. Instead of hiking through the bush and getting soaked. A lot of grass built up on this side of the bank. There's another little got a pond or river there. Let's go check it out. We had all day. Oh, this nice little cove here. This might not be too good or late in the summer. I feel like this will warm up quite a bit being off the side, no flow. Probably won't get much oxygen or food coming by, so they probably wouldn't be in here. Unless they come down, they're not feeding, they come down here in bed for the, the day and hang out. Probably won't go for a fly anyway. Some clear though, which is nice. Hopefully get some shallow spots up further up the river we can uh, pick out some locations for fishing. Yeah, definitely should have brought the waders today. It definitely would have been an easier walk up the river bank instead of cutting through the trees when you can't access it. But I didn't bring a rain jacket, but you know, you live and you learn. So we'll know for next time. So it looks like we came through a little peninsula here. A little fork in the river. We have to go around this little cove area I just found to get around. Fortunately, if I had waders, I could just walk right through, but well, this isn't even the main part of the river that I want to get to. It's just the um, kind of where it starts from the access point that I chose. All right, so we'll cross over here and we'll keep going up the river to the main body. I like this a lot better. There's no fur limbs that get walk through and get soaked. It's pretty easy moving here for the most part, which is nice. I didn't know what to expect. I just found this on the map and wanted to check it out for the upcoming season. You know what? It's not too bad. We get some waders. We just had a rainstorm and it's uh, late winter, so the water level is probably a lot higher than it normally is here. So maybe in the late, late early summer, it will uh, be a little bit lower and easier to walk through. Oh, I got a little clearing here for a bit. It's the only day I could really find my vacation to come out and wanted to explore this before April 1st. We're gonna hit the river, open the season. So I wanted to come spot it out. So I think I'm pretty, pretty pleased with what I found so far. Up ahead here should uh, open up into a big straightaway with the cleared banks. A lot more room for casting and walking, so hopefully it turns out to uh, what I'm hoping for. A lot of grass on the uh, the outer side of the bend of the river. I wonder if this will get much tall when you're uh, when it's dried out and starts growing again. Either way, it's uh, better this than uh, thick bush and sticks hitting you in the face every so often. A lot more area for ticks here though than tall grass, but that's the name of the game. Well, I like the looks of this up here. Nice waterlogged log here, nice and clear. Pretty good size. So we should be just around this bend up ahead, and then we should be on the main body of the river. This area is looking nice right here. It's nice and open. Lots of room to get a decent cast out. A little shallower here than up the main where we came in at. Hopping on that rock right there and trying to hit the uh, shallow moving spots along the bank there, along the water line would be nice. See a nice little pool there, slow moving right there. Along as here, the little foam line. Right along that fast current. It's a good opportunity right there. I just started fishing up last year, me and my buddy. I haven't fished since I was a kid with my dad, since I was like probably 12 or 13. So I recently got back into it last summer, but it was a little bit late in the season. So I wanted to get out ahead of it early this year and try to go for some trout. Trout was up a cup with my father when I was younger, so it's kind of nostalgic for me. And they're a little bit prettier than some bass and pickerel we get in the city. So that's the plan for uh, the start of trout season here, early uh, spring, late spring. Nice section of the river here, nice and clear. I like it. I'm gonna have to cross over here in this log if, I, if it's not rotted through. I don't really feel like my feet soaked more than they are. But up ahead, I can see the clearing out, and that's what I'm looking for. So we're almost there. I've probably been hiking for about an, an hour. It's a little slow going just because I'm taking my time and I'm watching the river and seeing some good spots and trying to navigate through it the best I can. 
Yeah, I'm gonna get a little stick here to guide me. It's a little narrow, full of trees, and it's probably slippery as hell. See when they won't break on me if I push on it. That's pretty good. All right, there we go. Thank you, stick. I'm gonna lay it here. You can go back to enjoying your peace on the forest floor. Oh, it's a little tricky here. Looks like there's a natural path here, an animal path perhaps. Maybe other people here have been walking through, but follow the path. It's a path of least resistance for the animals, and that's what they, uh, you listen to the animals. They're, uh, they're experts at this, so more than me. Beautiful landscape around here, though. You don't have too often in Nova Scotia you get these big cleared, nice river flows where it's not, you know, overgrown, overgrown with tree branches and whatnot. Let's try to make it through here. A lot of mushrooms at this time of year I'm seeing. And you know, all the uh, dead down logs full of moss. I wish I knew what they were called, what species they were, but you know, maybe at some point I'll do some research on that and start learning more about the natural uh, foraging and edible plants. Even then, I'm still there's there's some look likes and I'm not 100% sure. So you're not 100% sure you don't eat them, right? I'm gonna get up here. I'm gonna have a nice, find a nice little spot. Hopefully, have a little cook up with some uh, dehydrated meals I made, testing out some uh, meal prepping uh, for the backcountry and backpacking. I'm gonna have a little relax here after the hike and uh, try to keep going up as far as we can. It's one o'clock now. We just hit the time change there recently, so the the day is a little bit longer. So set sunset around seven o'clock or so, which is more than enough time that I need. Gets out real deep. Looks like nice clear spot here would be good. Not a whole lot of characteristic in this body here. So it's a nice slow moving piece, a little bit deeper. So the fish might not be as active feeding here, but they'd be down low resting perhaps. There is some there is some flow lines and foam lines here, so. It's not a horrible spot, but you never know. Trout can be anywhere where you least expect it, so never hurts to try. Oh, well, if I'm not soaked now, I'm definitely going to be after this. Dew's collected on top of these fir trees, and they just, when well, you walk through them, they just get you soaked. Oh, careful there. It's a little bit of drop off, some fallen logs. You got to be careful going through here. Watch your ankles. Last thing I want is to end up with a broken ankle out here an hour into the woods. In the rural area it's not not the, the recipe for a good situation nice and calm out here can't hear things all it is all nature sounds we're off a uh, main highway here so you get a car every once in a while but in the odd plane flying over there's one right now i was hoping for a sunny day said there's supposed to be some sun in the mix but it's supposed to be haze which it is now it's real foggy today So we're uh, a little bit further behind than we thought. Still got a couple little bit to go before it really opens up, but uh, the bank's gotten real, uh, real brushful again. So it's gonna be a little bit of a jaunt to get through here. Here are a couple chickadees here, I think. Oh, it's right there. Pretty birds. There's a couple in here calling around, letting them know I'm here. So all of a sudden here, some guy with a camera pointing it at us. I haven't seen a person in six months. Don't know what to think. Not many you guys harm. You guys do your thing. Oh, some garbage. A little President's Choice cola. I'm gonna take this and just get it out of the water at least. I don't have much room to take anything back with me, or at least I would. Pretty packed up, so I have to leave that there. At least it's not in the water and traveling around it can get stationary and start decaying. So it's amazing how far you can get out of the city in the rural area and come out an hour and hike in the woods and still find garbage. Ah, it's shameful. I know there are bears out in this area, so black bears. Hoping we don't run across that, but 
most of the time they'll uh they'll get scared from me anyway unless they're uh worst case scenarios with their cubs so if we do encounter one might be uh, good to invest in some bear spray so i reached it to the flat area that i was uh viewing on the map researching it's absolutely beautiful looks like i'm somewhere up north couldn't tell i'm only like uh, 30 minutes 40 minutes outside the city but forest fields were confirmed it's uh it's pretty swamp land here um not horrible for a wader season but for me right now hiking here i didn't i got just regular hiking tire on so we're gonna try to navigate through here on the high mounds and hopefully uh they don't get absolutely soaked a few moments later yeah i'm soaked <laughs> well we're too far in it now so you might as well keep going i got these boots are old and i don't care about them so this might be a bad mistake but we're into it okay we're getting deep yeah bad idea well you live and you learn so it would be more solid than it actually is well that might do it for me for the uh the hiking aspect of it i don't think i'll be able to make it through all that muck and trees as easy as i wanted to the swamp land tells me that the the hatch the bugs and stuff are going to be quite good if it's a, that's good news for trout not so good for us walking in it getting bit but it is what it is probably only a about a quarter of where i wanted to go but uh that's what happens when you come to a river you don't know you don't know what the terrain's like that's why i wanted to come out get knowledge for fishing season so now i know this bog type style goes up for uh many kilometers it's good to know once i get through this spot the hike in might be a little rough and waders but once you get to here you'll be a uh, smooth sailing for me on the other hand today just got some regular old leather boots and uh I'm soaked through up to the uh, mid shin, so yeah, I'd like to get a little fire going, but there's a couple uh, limiting factors to that. Uh, everything's soaked, so finding dry wood would be a nightmare. And um, from some uh, local knowledge, this river area is uh, owned by a, I guess, an organization for uh, back trails and like ATV and stuff. So of course the uh, the fishing act laws in Nova Scotia. Yeah, as long as you're fishing up the banks, you can uh, cross over private property and uh, in the name of fishing. So I don't want, I want to respect the landowners here. I'm not, I'm not going to do anything I shouldn't be doing. I saw a bird over there, land. It looked like a nice one. I didn't know what it was. I see them flying there. Two of the same. A little bit bigger than a chickadee. There's a pair of them flying around, landing at the banks. They're just hanging out by the riverbed, getting a little drink, having a little bath. Beautiful. Well, I'm going to leave them to it. I'm gonna keep trekking through here. It's a lot easier having a point of reference when you're hiking. Being this river is being my point of reference. So I go up the river, I go back the river. That way you, wanna, you don't have that risk of getting lost. Whenever you're out hiking, doing anything, you should always be prepared. Got a first aid kit with me, some tools, got a knife, a little bush knife and some uh, hatchet, some food, water. Plan for the worst, hope for the best. It's all about being safe when you're out here enjoying this. It might be nice looking at, but it can be quite easy to get turned around and get lost in there you don't know. And kind of setting yourself up for uh, success is the best you can do, which I have no fear of today because I know the river. I've researched it enough. I can pretty much put on a dot on my head and my map. And of course, I got my phone with me. I got, I got service out here, so bring along a compass with you as well. You know, always something the way to navigate, tell your direction. Well, trusty friend, I am back to use your services again. I promise this is the last time I'll be uh, using you today. But I appreciate you being here. You helped me out quite a bit. Awesome. Thank you, sir. I'm gonna leave you here. Give you a nice little spot to rest. Thank you. <clears throat> so I found a decent spot I set up at. I'm gonna get my chair up. It's a pretty good little camp chair, nice compact. Only problem is before I bought it, I didn't realize the pegs where it sits on the ground are very, very uh, pointy. So any soft or mushy ground, it just sinks right into it. Luckily this spot here is actually pretty hard and banked, so I should be good. Nice little uh, comfy relaxing chair to, when you're out in the woods is always nice. So the nice about this chair, it sets up in about two seconds. Fits in nice compact and it's comfy as hell. So I uh, smartly didn't bring any of my rain gear for some reason. Brought everything else, but rain jacket. It's always good. Yeah, there it is. Not too bad. Does the job. 
Hopefully I picked the right spot. Oh, we got a little bit of sinkage, but not too bad. But there's some harder spots around here, so. Sit here, listen to the river, make up some food, and then uh, try to do a couple cool shots that I've been uh, wanting to try with the GoPro. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned. So I'm trying to dehydrate a meal I made. Uh, it's just a simple spaghetti. First time trying to make anything like this, kind of dehydrated meals. I have about 152 grams of uh, dried spaghetti. So this is a trial and error here. I'm not too sure how this will turn out. I don't know if we'll be overflowing the pot or if it'll be hard as a rock. So we're gonna give it a go here. A little cook set here I got from Amazon. It's about 34 bucks, comes with everything included. A couple pots and uh, accessories. So I'm gonna get this uh, going here and try to have a little nice meal. It's a lot harder cooking outdoors when you don't have a nice little table to set things on. You gotta try to find uh, whatever you can to, to make do, which is uh, hopefully something I'm gonna get better at as I uh, start doing this more and get more practicing. Good enough for me. There's no wind here today, so thankfully it won't be much of an issue. There we go. We'll see here how much I got in here. Uh, about 400 milliliters, so thing, and we'll just fill it up. To the point where it uh, all the spaghetti is just uh, submerged. You might not use all of this. Depends. We're learning just first time making this, so we'll, uh, we'll test it out here at least. A little bit more. I'd say that's about good there. There. Let that heat up. Still playing with you know the outdoor cooking type thing but you know what that's about the first attempt so i'm gonna sit down and uh, have a little meal here just hanged out a bit took a little break from the hike in but uh the rain's been picking up and down here we're getting showers and i'm uh i'm basically soaked through to the core so i'm gonna head out of here it was good to get out uh survey the river a bit and uh kind of get uh, familiar with it so uh, all in all, you know, can't complain about that. So I'm going to hike on out of here and get back to the car and go home and warm up. So, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, and we'll see you in the next video here.